Hello, this is Furry Marie 7 and if you're getting the IP address and error when you try to connect to Xbox Live, and if you're using mobile broadband to connect to the internet, then please watch this video, I think you'll, it'll help a lot. It sure helped me. Um, uh, so, basically, when you try to uh, run a uh, test, a connection test, and it fails between the Xbox and the network, and that little red X comes up, and it says that there's an IP address error. error. Uh, the first thing you want to do is check your connection with your uh, server. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're connected to your network. Here you can see I'm using AT&T Communication Manager, and... Um, uh, you can see that it's uh, connected and it's on. You'll need to make sure that the letters 3G comes up uh, right here to let you know you're using 3G. Um, this method can be used for any type of connection. You don't have to use it for AT&T Communication Manager. Uh, before I used AT&T, I was doing my mobile broadband through Altel Wireless. And uh, that was about, uh, about a year and a half ago, I think it was. And then, and then, uh, I switched over to AT&T, so, now I use AT&T, I like AT&T a lot better than I'll tell, but, you need to make sure that you're, that it shows that you're connected. If you're not connected, you need to unplug your 3G modem, uh, it might not be able to connect if it's overheated, so, if it, if it feels hot when you touch it, make sure you unplug it, leave it unplugged for 10 or, 10 or so minutes, Plug it back in and then try to connect it. Make sure it says that it's connected. And then you need to make sure that you're, you have internet access. So you need to bring up your web browser. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, see if you can connect to the internet. You can see, yes, I am connected to the internet. So, it's working. So, once you made sure that it's working, you're going to click on your start button. Click on run. Make sure you have the run button there and you're gonna type in ncpa dot cpl and uh, you're gonna press enter and then you're going to have to look for your internet connection there's going to be a lot of networks up here on the screen you're gonna have to find the one that's your internet connection usually it's going to be called local area connection 2 or local area connection 3 it might have a different name um, so make sure you, uh, it, it should not be listed under any of the wireless network connections because, um, you're not using Wi-Fi to do this. It's just a device that's plugged into your USB port. So it treats it as a local area connection. So, um, uh, for me, this is local area connection 3. It used to be local area connection 2 for me, but I, I, I uh, created a new connection earlier. So you're going to right click on it and you're going to click properties. Okay, once this comes up, <clears throat> uh, you're going to want to make sure that these things are checked. Um, then you're going to click on sharing. And under internet connection sharing, you're going to check the box that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Once that's checked, you're going to have to click this drop down box and select local area connection. It's always going to be local area connection no matter what kind of uh no matter what your uh net what kind of network you have. So you're going to click that. Uh you don't have to check this box. Oh, you can if you want, but it's, it's uh, not required. Now, if you now if this is already checked and you're still having problems, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to uncheck this box. You're gonna click OK. Then you're going to restart your computer, and then well, after your computer restarts, you're gonna open up this window again. You're going to recheck this box, select local area connection from the drop-down list, and then you're gonna click OK. Once that is up, then you're going to go back to your Xbox console, and then 
you're going to retest. Now, uh, it may actually help if your console is turned off when you're doing all this stuff on your computer. And then, when you're uh, after you've enabled internet connection sharing, you're going to plug your uh, your Ethernet cable back into your console. You're going to turn your console on, and then you're going to retest your Xbox Live connection. Now, uh, when uh, if you get a chance to connect to Xbox Live, you might notice that your NAT type is not set to open. Uh, that's the way it is for me. I have a moderate NAT, and there's really nothing I can do about that because I have mobile broadband run off of AT&T. So, my NAT type is determined by the guys over at AT&T. So, um, if that happens to you, there, there might not be anything you can do about that. Uh, that's one of the disadvantages of having mobile broadband versus having, you know, cable or anything like that, but, uh, uh, so, that's the way it is. If you have any questions at all, make sure you write a comment in the comment section below this video. Um, make sure you please leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you. And, uh, Please check out my channel. I have a lot more videos coming. I'll have a new sweepstakes. Uh, hopefully within the next couple of days. I'll be giving away more Microsoft points for free. So uh, make sure you be watching out for that. Uh, thank you very much. And please like and subscribe. This video is part of TGN's Way Movement. A career path in video. For more info, check out my channel or go to TGN.TV.